Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating a nice rational expression. We have x minus 1 over x equals 1 and we're supposed to evaluate x to the fifth minus 1 over x to the fifth power. I'll be presenting two methods and I think these methods are kind of different, you'll decide. And let's start with the first method. And I believe there are three ways to do this problem. But anyways, after the second method, if I have some time and patience, I'll kind of talk about the third method. Okay, so my first method is going to be the following. I want to get to x to the fifth minus 1 over x to the fifth. And one way to do that is to try to get the cube and the square. So let's go ahead and square this expression. It is equal to 1, so its square is also equal to 1. That's what's nice about this. Any power will be 1. But when you square it, you're going to get x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 2 equals 1. Now, I like to square things like this. Like whenever you have a minus b squared, I like to write it as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab because this is especially helpful from a factoring standpoint and especially with these kinds of equations, very, very helpful to do that. Anyways, no big deal. From here we can go ahead and isolate x squared plus 1 over x squared, and that just becomes 3. Okay, let's save it for future use and continue with the cubing. So we know that x minus 1 over x is 1, so let's go ahead and cube both sides. And again, for cube, I have a, my favorite formula, how do you cube a minus b? Well, the binomial theorem tells us how, but I kind of like to write it as a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab, multiply by a minus b. And when you distribute and kind of move things around a little bit, you'll get the same result that you get with binomial theorem. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, cube it using this formula. It's going to look like this. x cubed minus 1 over x cubed minus 3ab. ab is going to be 1, by the way, so it's just going to be a 3 times x minus 1 over x. This is how you cube x minus 1 over x, and 1 cubed is just 1. Make sense? Great. Now, what do I know? I know x minus 1 over x, so I can just plug it in. It is 1, replace it with 1, then you're going to get negative 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. So from here we get the difference of cubes as 4. Let's also save this result. Now we have two results. We have the sum of squares and we have the difference of cubes. How is that going to help us? Multiply them together and you'll see. Okay. So let's go ahead and multiply x cubed minus 1 over x cubed and x squared plus 1 over x squared. Okay, we do know that the difference of two cubes is 4. So this is 4. And what about this? I think I also have that. It's equal to 3. So what is 4 times 3? Obviously, it's 12, right? You, come on, you know this. Now, that's not that important. What's important is distributive property. Let's go ahead and distribute, foil it. Some people call foil it for first outer inner last. Well, it just does, it only works with binomial times binomial. That's the shortcoming of foil. Anyways, so this becomes x to the fifth minus x cubed times 1 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed times x squared minus 1 over x cubed times 1 over x squared. Now, this is x to the fifth power cancels out x with x squared, so we end up with x minus this cancels out with this, we get 1 over x, and then we should be getting minus 1 over x to the fifth power. Okay? And this should be a plus sign, by the way. So it should be like this. Okay, cool. I don't know why I put a minus sign there. So now, we do have 2 plus signs and 2 minus signs, so that looks good to me. And this is equal to 12. Now take a look. I'm going to rearrange the terms nicely. So like put the x to the fifth with 1 over x to the fifth, and put the x with 1 over x. And this is 12. But I also know that this is equal to 1. Awesome. This is what I was looking for, right? x to the fifth minus 1 over x to the fifth is going to be 12 minus 1 which is 11, right? So that's the answer. And that brings us to the end of the first method and the beginning of second method. So let's continue with the second method. I hope you'll like the second method better. Actually, it doesn't matter, but 
uh, let me know what you like better. So the second method, obviously you'll get to decide which one looks better and everybody is different. Uh, if you ask me, I kind of like the first method, uh, even though the second method is also somewhat nice. Not that I discovered it, but you know, those are good methods in general. So for this, I'm thinking like I, I'm given X minus one over X and then I'm supposed to evaluate this. So why not just raise this expression to the fifth power directly? Why go through the cube and the square and all that stuff, right? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. So the binomial theorem tells us this is going to be X to the fifth power minus five times X to the fourth times one over X plus 10 X cubed times one over X squared minus 10 times x squared times 1 over x cubed plus 5 times x times 1 over x to the fourth power and I gotta move this a little bit because it just didn't, didn't fit there are too many terms so let's go ahead and move this here and then finally I have minus 1 over x to the fifth so that's what the binomial theorem tells us the coefficients are 1 5 10 10 5 1 and those are coming from the Pascal's triangle right Okay, great. So x minus 1 over x is equal to 1. So this will be 1. And let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. x minus 5 goes with 1 over x minus 5. Here x to the 4th and x cancel out, leaving us with 1 minus, minus 5 x cubed. And then this will give us plus 5 times 1 over x cubed. I've taken care of that as well. I've taken care of this. So the only terms that are left are these two. And again here, we cancel out the x squared with the two of the x's, and that gives us 10x minus 10 times 1 over x. And that's equal to 1. Let's go ahead and uh, organize this a little bit more. This gives me x minus x to the fifth minus 1 over x to the fifth minus 5 times x cubed y minus 1 over x cubed plus 10 times x minus 1 over x, and that is equal to 1. Remember, this is what I'm looking for, right? And do I know everything else? Well, I do know that this is 1, so that's 1. But what about the difference of two cubes? We found it earlier, right? Can we just copy from there, like kind of use this first method? Yes, the difference of cubes was 4. You've seen it, right? Hopefully you did. If not, then please watch that part. So the difference of cubes is 4. And now we get the following. What I'm looking for minus 5 times 4, which is 20, plus 10 times 1, which is 10, equals 1. What I'm looking for equals 20 minus 10 plus 1. And what I'm looking for is 11. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.